Hi, I'm Jerry Seiki, Autoimmune Technical Trainer for BioRad Laboratories. Today in this Autoimmunity IFA video series, we will be discussing ANA IFA patterns in HEP2 cell substrate and how it can aid in the diagnosis of autoimmune disease. Today in this video, we will be analyzing the step-by-step -step process in interpreting a common ANA IFA pattern and its clinical significance. The IFA pattern for today is a homogeneous pattern. The homogeneous pattern is a common ANA IFA pattern and is seen in about 15 to 40 percent of IFA positive samples. Now let's take a look and see what a homogeneous pattern looks like. First, look at the nucleus of your interface cells. Remember, the majority of the cells that you see on the slide are interface. In a homogeneous IFA pattern, the nucleus will have an even staining throughout. Next, look at the nucleoli. The size and number of nucleoli vary depending on where the cell is in the cell cycle. Staining can also be variable. It could be positive, negative, and in some samples, show a peripheral staining. Remember in the cell cycle that mitosis is a short period of time when the cell is dividing. Metaphase is a time in cell division where the chromatin is highly condensed and aligned in the center of the cell. So to confirm pattern identification, you examine the chromatin region of your metaphase or dividing cell. In a homogeneous IFA pattern, the chromatin will fluoresce intensely as an irregular shaped mass. The autoantibodies typically associated with this pattern are DSDNA, nucleosomes or chromatin, and histones. It's also important to note that healthy people can have a positive ANA IFA. The ANA test is to be used as an aid in diagnosis. The clinical associations of a homogeneous pattern are systemic lupus erythematosus, or SLE, and drug-induced lupus. In many cases, the doctor will order additional tests to see if the specific antibody or antibodies that are causing the positive ANA can be identified. Thanks for watching, and please visit our YouTube channel and see other videos in the Autoimmunity IFA video series. BioRad product information and contact info in the comments below. Please let us know what you think and what topics you'd like to see in the future.